what's over there, peasants, and welcome. Welcome to another edition of Moods of the Skyrim. Of course, I mean mods, you muppets. We are here with the Mods of Skyrim, episode, like, 73 or something madness. Uh, yeah, some, some huge number. It's quite large now. We've got 70-something episodes. Here we are with a new house mod. We haven't done a house mod in a while. This is Chesery's... I believe it's Chesery's. Sorry if it's pronounced wrong, Chesery. Chesery's Breeze Home. Now, there are a lot of Breeze Home mods, but this is actually one of my favourites. I really, really like this mod. It adds a really nice effect to Breeze Home. Now, obviously, Breeze Home is incredibly boring and pretty useless as a first house. It's got some decent stuff in it, but not enough. And basically, this completely changes the inside and uh, makes it a lot bigger and better. As you can already see, it's got a huge sort of additional tower. Go away. Don't talk to me. You bastard. You bastard. I'm filming! crying out loud. So it adds this huge thing on top. That's a nice little porch thingy here and some other bits and bobs. But the main feature is the large addition on top. So, upon downloading this mod and installing it, we're going to have a look inside. Now obviously, it is made by Chesery, so apparently if that didn't already come up, go away, white run bloody guard. So we're going to go inside and have a look at the new Breeze home. In we bloody well go. Now upon entering, you are practically slapped in the face with the whole difference of this area. One, there's no large, ridiculously pointless fire pit in the middle, and we even have this. We have upper regions that we can see. Straight away, it's incredibly different. So when you walk in, you are first introduced with sort of like a living room, like a little sort of seating area, nice little big fire, some bits and bobs, and once again, I am a massive fan of clutter. I love... Ooh, hello. That's nice. I love clutter in this... In Skyrim. I think it really makes a house look like an actual house. So any house which doesn't have clutter in, to me, isn't... It isn't a house. It doesn't work. It doesn't look like a house. So you're moving through, you come to the kitchen. Once again, more clutter. I love clutter. You've got jars of things. You've got... Whatever these are, pastries baking in the oven. Doesn't say what they are, but they are pastries nonetheless. Probably Cornish pasta. I love Cornish bloody pastas. I want one now, actually, if I can get one. Ginsters! I want a Ginsters Cornish pasta! Anyway, so you've got more bits and bobs in here. Moving around, you have the master bedroom on the ground floor, which is quite useful. We have to go trekking around to find everything. Full of little mini bits and bobs, and they're all named, so you can put everything in specific areas, which is another nice feature done by Chesley. Everything is named. Everything has got a specific purpose. Now, I don't know if there are any secret things in this uh, in this house. I haven't had a good look around. I did give a brief read over on the um, on the Nexus page, but uh, probably not a good enough brief read over. Moving across the way, you have your little your other storage area full of chests and safes and things to put all your little safety depositors and things you want to keep safe because that's why it's called a safe. It wouldn't be called a safe otherwise, would it? Moving up the stairs, the first room you come across is this one. Your house car's room. Bed is owned by stupid Lydia, who I'm pretty sure I actually got killed in this game, so I'm not technically owned by her anymore. It's owned by your house car. Moving around, we have this room here, which is your children's bedroom. Should you have children, this is where it will be. You've got a rocking horse and a little doll. And these little doohickeys, which are the, um... This is a nice feature, actually. I like this. I don't know where it comes from, but it's the... The dwarven thingamajig with plants growing out of it. it looks cool. So more little bits and bobs, but this is the actual children's room. Moving around to here is just a storage room. Nothing in here at all, just storage. Barrels, places you can put stuff. Now, moving up, we have the top reaches. You can actually go up to the uh, little sort of balcony thing, so we're going to have a quick look up there. Do I run? There you have it, that's what it comes to. You have your nice little sort of balcony upper reaches here. Um, yes, I have got a mod running which does change the colour of the white run grass. I have no idea which one it is, I can't remember. I think it might just be lush grass and lush trees or something and it changes all of this. But it looks much better, white run looks a lot nicer. Anyway, we've got this upper reaches and it looks over the landscape of Skyrim. So we're not going to hang around up here because there's not really much point. There's not really much to look at. You will know what white run looks like. So we're going to carry on with the rest of the house. Now, yes, I am moving around this house relatively quickly because, well, I don't really want to hang around. I don't like long-winded mod videos anymore. I don't really like doing them. They, uh, I don't know, I find them a bit dull. But anyway, back down to the living room. We have the one final area to show you. Well, there's technically, ooh, a rolling pin. I like that. We've even got a rolling pin in here, guys. So, this is by the kitchen. You have the basement as well, which contains all of your usual crafting-y sort of dealies. So we're going to go and have a look down to the basement. Now, this is one thing I like about this area, is it has little signs telling you what is what. So we're going to go and have a look in here, which is obviously the forge. Moving into the forge, it's a well-kitted out, a very nicely uh, laid out forge as well. You've got a nice little picture over there. Nice picture over there. And of course, you have all the areas where you can store bits and bobs. And a couple of plaques here and there. And of course, the workbench and the forge itself, and more storage. That's one thing I like about this place, there's an absolute shed ton of storage. Shesri, you've done a fantastic job with this mod. And now I'm finally going to show you possibly my favourite alchemy 
and enchanting station, whatever you want to call it, I've seen because it's just madness. It's full of clutter. It looks like a typical alchemy area, which is just, oh my god, look at it. You've not even gone in yet and you've already been like, whoa, that is a lot of stuff in there. So when you move in, here we are. We have the alchemy and the enchanting labs, stations, whatever, bang smack in the middle. And there is an absolute ton of stuff around here. Now, yes, areas, all of these are actual places where you can store stuff, which is something I really, really like. You've got Obviously the lavender here, um, you can, you, these are all actually places to store stuff as well, these aren't pick upable, but they're all, all of them are storage area, human hearts, daedra hearts, fol folia toa, fol whatever, um, juniper, death bells, you know, everything in here is something where you can store something, which is why I absolutely love this house, it's so good, it's, it's awesome! Oh my god, it's just so good! Right, so yeah, we're gonna finish up there, I reckon, guys. So here we are, Shesri's Breeze Home. Please go and download this. The mod, the, the mod link will be in the description. Make sure you endorse it, give it a thumbs up and all that jazz. There is one final area, which is this. This leads into a small cavern which runs out of Whiterun into the land of Skyrim. It's just a way out of Whiterun quickly, I guess, if you're down here and you can't bother going faff around outside. You just run down here and you can get yourself out. So there you go, guys. There is your Breeze Home, your new Shesri's Breeze Home. Go and download this, guys. It is fantastic. All of the instructions are on the website. Um, so follow them. It works for me. If you've already got Breeze Home, you have to go a little bit differently, but it's no big deal. If you don't have Breeze Home, it's piss easy. You just buy a children's bedroom or something like that. So there you go, guys. There is your Shesri's Breeze Home. That's one thing I didn't do, is buy the children's bedroom. Oh, well, I don't have kids on this game. I can't bother with them. So there you go, guys. There is Shesri's Breeze Home. Please go and give it an endorsement and a rate and a comment and all that stuff. And do exactly the same on my video. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll just see you when I see you. When I see you, when I see you, which will be very, very soon. I don't know when. It is out to. Goodbye, friends. I love you all. I love you all. And I will... Hug you at every moment I physically can. Goodbye, friends. Toodle freaking ooh.